Hey everyone, Trey Mick from Magnet Forensics, and today I'm going to quickly highlight Google Drive activity for corporate Google Workspace accounts. In order to initially set up Axiom Cyber to work with your Google Workspace environment, we provided both an article found on our blog as well as an article found within our knowledge base section for assistance in setting this up. But I'll quickly highlight the process now. And just to quickly show, if we hop over to our blog, all I did was search within the blog Google Admin, and then within our knowledge base, I looked for the exact same article. And here you can see configuring the Google Admin content console with all the information you need. But let's take a look at what that actually looks like. So I'm logged in as the admin for my Google Workspace environment. I'm going to navigate security, access and data control, and then API controls. From here, I'm navigate down to domain wide delegation and select manage domain wide delegation. Now here you can see I already have an API client listed with Magnet Axiom with the client ID, and then you can see scopes. I'm just gonna quickly hit view details. These are scopes that are allowing Axiom Cyber to work within the Google Workspace environment and it allows us to pull that information that you need for your investigations. So make sure you set this up before you try and deploy Axiom Cyber and collect from your Google Workspace environment. So I'm going to close this and we're going to go ahead and hop on over to Axiom Cyber and get started with our investigation. So we're in Axiom Cyber process. I'm going to go to cloud. I'm going to go to acquire evidence. I have the proper search authorization. We're going to select Google. Now, we did add an additional authentication method, which is the Google Chrome authentication, which will actually launch and allows us to use the Cloud Authenticator browser extension uh, for you to collect. But for today, I'm gonna to use the username and password. This gives us the highest level of access uh, in order for us to be able to target the account that we're investigating today. So I'm gonna simply select next. And then I'm gonna sign into my Google Workspace with my admin credentials. So today I'm actually Dante. We're gonna grant Axiom Cyber access to our account by hitting allow. Now, if you've entered the scopes correctly within your Google admin account, you should have this select access level uh, prompt. And this allows you to either access just the admin account only or the admin account and user account data, which typically you're gonna want the user account data that for the target accounts for your investigation. So I'm gonna leave the top selected and simply hit next. Now from here, we can select the date range for our investigation if we'd like. Now I'm just gonna enter the user account for the investigation for today, Scott. And as we start typing, you can see it prompts me and I'm gonna go ahead and select that. We've got his information selected, so I'm gonna hit add account. Now we're gonna simply just select the data we wanna acquire. We're gonna go ahead and go into Google Drive. And this is the new feature that I'm talking about for acquiring Google Drive activity logs. So this actually stores the activity logs for all the users' Google Drive contents and what they're doing with those uh, different files. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Go ahead and acquire the version history and the metadata for those files. And then I'm just gonna hit select all for all the information that's collected within that Google Drive. Next, I'm gonna go over to Google Apps. And for this, I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what, for this investigation, I wanna look at their messages calendar as well as their Google audit logs, which would include things like their login events. So I'm gonna select those and simply hit next. Now that we have our information ready, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next, and we've got him added. All we're gonna do now is work through and analyze this evidence. So we're gonna go ahead and start this collection, and once we've got it collected and processed, I'll see you over in Axiom Cyber Examine. Now that we've acquired our account for this investigation, I'm gonna simply navigate from my case dashboard over to my artifacts view. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and expand out these windows for documents along with cloud storage. And to start, as you can see, we do have the workspace login audit events, which is great. This allows us to see both the login successes, if they are challenged during their login or failures when they attempt to log in. We also have our Google Drives files that we've collected. In this case, it's a fairly small Google Drive, but things that we can uh, see very quickly here, we have you know the folder structure, we have My Drive, which would be the root. We can see we have a folder in there that's called Invoices, and we can select that and get some more information. So here you can see this folder has not been shared. We can also get the information such as the last modified dates, times, along with who uh, accessed that. Now continuing to look through here, we can see we've got some uh, files here that are documents. We have some PDFs here as well. I can start selecting these and once again, getting a quick preview of what that document is as well as more information. And here you can see we do have one that's being shared along with a web URL and a down download URL. Now I'm gonna go from here. I wanna look at a little bit more information uh, maybe that's relevant for this file 248 updated doc. So I'm gonna go over to Drive Activity, which is the new 
feature that I wanna really highlight here. So here we can see all of the different user-driven activities for this account. And here we can see we have some edits, permission changes, we have some things being created as well. And as we're looking at these file names, we can see we have a 248, and then eventually we have a 248 updated. And when we start looking at some of this information, we can see, hey, this file was essentially created as new, that's a PDF. We can see as we continue that it was then brought in and opened uh, as a document from the Google Apps. And as we work through, we can see there are several edits. We can see it was also renamed, and we provide that old value of what the old name was along with the new value uh, that's listed here. You can see there's additional moves here as well. So, uh, you know, as an investigator, we always want to tell the story of that investigation. And maybe it's, you know, how did that file move across uh, your network or your systems or across that user's, uh, you know, directories? We have all that information now very, very handy with the Google Drive activity artifact. So here you can see it was moved into the destination folder of invoices from the root. We can also see up here that the permissions were changed. And as we're looking through here, we can see the user changed the permissions and sent to the the user changed the permissions to this file name and added the permission that anyone can view uh, that file. So essentially they created a, a link that anyone that has access to can now view that. So just keep in mind of how you can use this information from the Google Drive activity to really further your investigations, kind of tell that story of your investigation of whether that file you know, was being accessed by people that uh, shouldn't have it, or maybe uh, you know, for fraud cases of you know, files being changed, being updated from within someone's Google Drive account. Thanks, we'll see you next time.